Hi, this is Katie with South Dakota Game Fish and Parks in Rapid City at the Outdoor Campus. And we're coming to you today to share a little bit about um, kayaking and canoeing and just a little bit about the differences and um, what you can do to have fun this summer. We will start with canoeing today. Grayson and Avon are in a canoe right now and generally in canoes there are two people that sit in the canoe and one in the front like Grayson is, Grayson wave, and then one person in the back like Avon is today. And so you'll notice that they are both facing forward. In a canoe, everybody faces towards the front and each person has a paddle. All right, so our paddles for canoeing look like these ones right here. This is a canoe paddle. And um, the canoe paddles, when you hold the canoe paddle, you're gonna have one hand at the end of the canoe paddle, one hand in the center of the canoe paddle, just like my kids are doing right now, and then you hold it across your body, just like that. When we're canoeing, um, when we're canoeing, we actually want to paddle on opposite sides. And so this takes a little bit of teamwork while you're doing the canoeing. You'll need to talk to each other. So as one person is paddling on the right side of the boat, um, the other person would be paddling on the left side. So I'm gonna have my kids demonstrate paddling on opposite sides. So Avon switched there. All right, they're showing a forward stroke not really because they're not in the water right now, um, but they're showing a forward stroke and then they can switch at any time. If their arms are getting tired, they can switch and they can paddle the other way. So when we get in and out of the canoe, generally what happens is one person will sit on the edge and we put the canoe into the water um, a little ways and then Then what we do is we need to use three points of contact to get into the canoe. So two hands and a foot, two feet and a hand. So you set your paddle in first, just like Grayson did, and then three points of contact. Go ahead and show us Grayson. Hold on to the sides. And there we go. All right, and then when we're ready, today I'm gonna to push these guys out and I'll show you just a little bit. If I were getting in the front of the boat, I would go out and I would put my knee on the front of the canoe and then I would kind of hop in when I was going to get into the water. But I'll just push these guys out today. All right, so Grayson and Avon are demonstrating how to paddle, a forward paddle back towards shore. Avon are going to demonstrate a couple strokes. The first one, if you want your canoe to turn toward your paddle, then you do what's called a J stroke. So if I was on this side and I wanted my canoe to turn towards my paddle, I put my paddle in the water, I pull out, pull back, and then scoop out. If I want my paddle to, excuse me, my canoe to turn away from my paddle, then I'm going to do a C or a sweep. So I stick my paddle in the water and I sweep out or make a giant C and that should push my um, boat away from my paddle. So I'm gonna have Grayson show that now. The J stroke and the C stroke, sweep out. Another important thing about canoeing is sizing your paddle. To size your paddle, you need to take the paddle portion of your paddle and put it on your big toe and then measure it against your body. So this one is about at my eyes. The perfect paddle length would be in between your nose and your chin. I wouldn't take this one because it's a little bit big for me, unless it was my only option. Um, this one is right about at my chin. And so even though it's a little bit smaller, this is the one that I would use because it feels more comfortable for me. A couple safety things about paddling that are really important. 
The first one is always, always, always wear a life jacket when you're doing any kind of water sports. So Aben's life jacket today, um, the really important thing is that we make sure it's buckled properly and that it's tight enough. So I should be able to pull up and it shouldn't go past her ears. If it goes past her ears, then it's too loose. So then I wanna tighten it up with just a little bit. Hers could be tightened a little bit. If it's too tight and she can't breathe, then that's not okay either. How does that feel, Aven? Good. All right. Another thing with paddling, it's always good to wear a hat, like Aven's doing today, to protect your head from the sun. And we always wanna make sure that we wear sunscreen, especially on a sunny day like today, when we're paddling to make sure that we don't get fried. Another thing about paddling that um, a lot of people might want is if you start to paddle, you might want to get a dry bag. Um, I have this dry bag right here that I can throw sunscreen, anything in, and then you just roll it up. And then buckle it right here. Um, leaving a little air in it like that helps it to actually float. Um, so you can have your dry bag with you with anything that you would need on the water. And then the other thing that can come in handy is a cell phone case if you want to bring your cell phone. I usually just don't take my cell phone out on the water, but <clears throat> I know that a lot of people like to have their cell phone with, so you can put your cell phone in a dry bag like this. Kayaking is a little bit different. We have single kayaks out right now and there are also double kayaks. We're going to demonstrate on single kayaks today. You can get lots of different types of kayaks. The kayaks we have at the outdoor campus are all specific to kayaking on a lake and fishing on your kayak. So even on her right, the blue one is a sit inside kayak. So that one has a seat that is adjustable and you can sit inside it and your legs go actually inside the kayak. The other two that are more of the brownish color are sit on top kayaks, which are what Grayson and Avon want to kayak on today. So with a kayaking, you have a different paddle. Grayson and Avon are gonna hold up their paddles so you can see um, that kayaking paddles actually have um, paddles on each side and because you're the only person in the kayak. Even if you have a double kayak, you still have a paddle with two paddles, I guess you could say, on each side. So when we get ready to kayak, we're gonna hold the paddle. So Grayson and Avon are gonna demonstrate how to hold the paddle. So you hold it with your knuckles towards the air and the paddle, the scoop part is towards you. And you can kind of see, depending on the blades, the um, slanted part of the blade goes down and goes into the water. All right, Grayson and Avon, will you have a seat in the canoe kayaks, please? All right, so Grayson and Avon are demonstrating how they will sit in the sit on top kayaks, and then I'm just gonna push them in today. If you're kayaking on your own, you would push in, you'd probably wanna wear water shoes to make sure you, um, you're probably going to get wet. One of the differences between canoeing and kayaking, in my opinion, is that you will get a lot wetter when you are kayaking just because of the shape of the paddles. There are some different things you can do to reduce that, but in general, you're gonna get a lot more wet when you're kayaking than when you're canoeing. Canoeing, you're sitting up a little higher on the water. Kayaking, you're pretty low to the water. All of these kayaks are pretty flat and stable, and so they really won't tip very easily. All right, so you can see Avon paddling, doing a forward paddle. And you'll notice that she paddles on one side to turn her boat away from her. And then Avon's gonna show a back paddle.
And those are the basic paddles for kayaking.